I see. And that's why you came to us for help. They said there are distortions spreading through the skies, causing all this chaos. So it's all related. There's a line between the distorted and unaffected parts of the sky. They called it a boundary. Primal beasts inside the distorted part are being rewritten from the inside out. But I can reverse the process by absorbing their power. Then they can still move around safely inside the boundary without losing control. Rewritten, huh? Sounds like the same thing that's been playing with people's memories. That's crazy! And it's not any kind of astral power doing it, right? A power that can alter not only the Sky Realm, but primal beasts as well. It's as if a god is toying with reality, like a child playing in a sandbox. A boundary... and a godlike power. This is only a rumor, but... it sounds like there's been unusual activity in the Didroid Belt in North Bass, too. That's all the way out on the edges of Fanta Grande. Does that mean the entire Skydom has already been affected? Actually, I think we can say the changes have begun to spread across the Grim Basin. Across the Grim Basin? Then this won't stop with Fanta Grande. At this rate, it'll swallow up the entire Sky Realm. I still don't know who's behind these distortions. But the whole world is under threat. We have to put a stop to this ourselves. And we will! With all this going on, I wonder how Rosetta is faring. Aw, oh, jeez. She couldn't have picked a worse time to go back to Lamassier. You don't have to worry about Rosetta. I'm sure... I'm sure she's fine. Yo. Where did they come from? And what's wrong with them? Be careful, everyone! Anything that gets in our way right now is dust!
She says she can feel a strange power all through the forest of Lumassier. I can't quite put it into words, but the forest seems off, even to me. It never gave me that feeling before. So the boundary is creeping through Lumassier now. You think that means Rosetta's in the same shape as the other- Ow! Shut up, Scales for Brains! Don't even say stuff like that! Eo, Vern, calm down! Rosetta draws power from the forest of Lumassier. I'm sure that will protect her. Let's just hurry up and find her! seems denser here compared to the other islands. There must be something nearby damming the flow. This strange force gradually swallowing up Fanta Grande, distorting the world as it goes. I'm certain it's related to the other world. 
I suppose it's because I'm a ghost that I can perceive it. The dead are closer to the other world than the living, after all. Lumassier is nearly saturated with all the power pulling here. There's not much time. I have to let everyone know. Where are you hopping off to, little bunny? Who are you? Uh, you're the one behind this. I'm a step closer to the other world than most. You can't fool me. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. Pure and innocent. But sharp as a knife. Or maybe it's your purity which honed that razor's edge. As much as I'd love to welcome an ingenue into the world of sensual delights, you'll have to make your turn. A lot of people have come calling today. Huh? What are those things? Sorry to disappoint you, but you're not here to play detective. I just need another piece on the board. Yggdrasil? Is something wrong? Uh, what? A powerful force? Uh, do you think it's Rosetta fighting someone? No, it's not Rosetta. Yggdrasil said the power that's spreading through the sky spiked just now, here in the forest, only for a second. And there's something in this forest with us? I'm not sure. She said she only sensed it for a moment. Better look sharp, then. No telling what might happen. Everybody stay close to me. Let's keep a tight formation. doing in Lumassier? Singularity. Your existence is distorting the world. Uh... It's time I brought you to heal. You need to learn the difference between right and wrong. Fairy, what's wrong with you? I don't... Back off, girl in blue. 
No one said you can move. Fairy! Lyria, get behind me. Those monsters again! They must have affected Fairy's memories too. Yeah, but she seems a lot more aggressive than the others were. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I guess it's my move, Singularity. Looks like we have to fight, if we're gonna get her back to normal. I'll notice the strange power at work, too. A man acting suspicious? You met him here, in the forest? That's right. And he had these crystalline monsters with him that gave off a strange energy. They must be the same monsters you encountered. Then that's our guy! I think so, too. I'm not sure how to put it, but I could tell from his aura that he was no ordinary person. Fairy, could you take us to the place where you met him? I'm worried about Rosetta. This might be the clue we need to unravel the whole mystery.
great. He's coming. Get ready. GG. Watch out. Finish. He's coming. Hooray! Hooray! Quest clear. I could use more practice. Good job. One of those dark crystal creatures has appeared every time there was an incident. Are they causing these events somehow? Those black crystals appear within the border. They provoke monsters into aggression. And many witnesses have suffered sudden health crises. Judging from the rumors I've heard, the crystal monster's fear of influence is growing daily. If my theory is correct and the boundary of the affected area is advancing, the majority of the Skydom may have already been consumed. Not bad. you figured out quite a lot about Exia already. Gathering eyewitness accounts. Having the detachment to envision the bigger picture. You'd make a good king. Who are you? Just an itinerant archaeologist. Wherever mystery lurks, there I am, elbow deep. Archaeologist, don't insult my intelligence. And what do you mean by Exia? Those black crystals? Oh, gold star. And you're right. I'm no archaeologist. You're the one behind this. Grappling with former allies to the twisted strains of corrupted causality. Doesn't the devastation call out to you? Corrupted causality? Are you using Exia to distort reality? It's complicated. I know how it looks, but these things don't belong to me. And Exia isn't directly responsible for the corruption. These crystals are just... toys. They help me bring things to a head. <laughs> but not much more. Speak plainly. Is there someone else behind all this? That's right. The real brains of the operation. He's been sealed away in pandemonium. He's one of the few friends I have left. So being the sentimental soul that I am, I had to mount a rescue attempt. But once I woke him up, <laughs> he started trying to get out on his own, and he's been a little too gung-ho about it. He's throwing so much power against the seal that it's spilling out into the skies and causing all this distortion. You've got to laugh. Poor little guy's trying so hard. Oh, and that empire? What was it, Earth Day? It never really had a resurgence. Those troops are just a mob of former soldiers. They're not getting orders from anywhere, just chasing the shadows of commanders long gone, running around conquering territory for no one at all. Causality and memory tampering notwithstanding, mob psychology is frightening, isn't it? It's amazing how far people will go just on the assumption that others agree with them. Talkative, aren't you? But that means pandemonium is the locus of these phenomena. Right again. <laughs> uh, I really shouldn't talk so much. I appreciate the intel. Now move! Pandemonium awaits! Poor little mortal. Don't you know you're all bound up in causality's chains? Ugh. Dance for me. Not yet! Take this! Ah! Another! Yeah! Yeah! Ha! 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 
finish! or threaten the security of the skies, will be purged by flames. Any last words? Speak them now. You will be devoured by my flames. Leave this to me. Be careful, okay? Splendid fight, Gran. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Sir Burns a lot. Did you meet that suspicious dude too? Who? Oh, him. That wretch. I fell into his trap as well. There's no doubt in my mind. He's the one responsible for the chaos threatening the Sky Realm. No. It appears not. Although he's certainly involved. Imagine, if we extrapolate from the events so far, his power threatens to rewrite reality as we know it, to bring about the end of the world. We ain't gonna let that happen. What's it gonna be, Gran? Do we go after that shady dude or head straight to Pandemonium? 
First, we need to do what we came here to do, and make sure Rosetta's all right. A while. He got away. Hmm. So, he's not reckless enough to challenge us both at once. I'm lucky you were here then, Zoe. No good. I can try to control the flow around the Musye, but the rest of the Skydom is being swallowed up as we speak. The problem needs to be addressed at the source. Is restoring that seal really our only option? Once the seal has been broken, it is not easy to reverse its effects. There are other ways, but each carries its own risks. Then you're going to stand by and let the skies drown? I couldn't do that. But you and I won't get anywhere without help. Hmm. So yet again, those children hold the key. Rose Queen, please send them in the right direction. I must prepare for the next phase. I hate to send them off without me, but I suppose I have to let them fly on their own sometimes. Rosetta! We finally found you! Eo, the whole crew's here too. Rosetta, you wouldn't believe what's been going on. Surely you've had quite the time of it. I'm just glad to see you all safe. <laughs> That's our Rosetta. You were already taking steps to fight back before we even figured out what was happening. Yes, so much for my vacation. And despite all that I've done, that power has already swallowed up most of Fandegrande. That man I met. Have you seen him? Or sensed him? He was releasing those Exia creatures throughout the forest. If he's still here, we have to put a stop to it. That man, Belial, is no longer on this island. Gran, you and the others must go to Pandemonium. I know. But we'll get through it, now that you're back with us. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. But why, Rosetta? If I were to leave my post, the chaos you've been seeing will only spread faster. So, it's up to all of you. Reassure me, Gran. As the Singularity, are you prepared to be the Sky Realm's light in its hour of need? You can't be serious! It's for your own good. But if you can't handle this, you won't be able to save the world. The battles awaiting you will be harsher than you can imagine. So show me that you have what it takes to overcome them! Rosetta's that is right, Gran. If we can't defeat her, we won't be able to fix anything. Looks like we got no choice but to set her mind at ease then. We'll show her just how ready we are. All right. Rosetta, here I come. I, Rose Queen, shall test you. Prove yourselves. Get ready, God. Get ready, God. Get ready, God. Get Great! <laughs> 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 
prepared. I'm sure of it now. Leave the rest to us, Rosetta. We won't let this go any further. The girl in blue, the red dragon, and the singularity. You three are the keys to ending this chaos. But those who wish to see it through will no doubt come for you. With everyone standing by us, there's no way we'll lose. <laughs> we know you're here fighting for us too, Rosetta. <laughs> Always. Time for you to set out for Pandemonium. The final battle awaits. Belial said someone was sealed there, but do you know who? 
Indeed. An astral by the name of Beelzebub. Beelzebub? But why does a single astral have this much power? That I don't know. All I know for certain is that he's no ordinary astral. He's something unique. Belial is clearly hoping that Beelzebub's return will bring about the end of the world. Does that mean this Beelzebub is another puppet dancing on Belial's strings? Perhaps. Beelzebub is the one whose power is warping the very nature of reality. But even so, that Belial character may pose an even greater threat. Weiss well, read the details! If you ask me, they both need a timeout of epic proportions. We can't waste any more time. Next stop, Pandemonium. I'm counting on you. I'll hold out here as long as I can. Pandemonium, huh? Should be able to make the trip in under half a day. Time is not on our side. Full speed ahead, Rackham. Where do those jerks get off trying to wreck our world? They're going down! We'll stop them, no matter what. I don't know why, but I can't shake this awful feeling. Like there are all sorts of bad things just around the corner. See that? That blue-haired girl is a hell of a find. She has the power to manipulate primal beasts. That's a stroke of luck for us. The primal beast with the roses is already bound to this island. A worthless mark at this point. Let's follow the girl instead. Sounds smart. Let's get moving.